Hey you all, Dodo Reactions here, and today I'm going to react to some more Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This is season 6, episode 3, and I wonder how Buffy's going to deal with everything that happened in the last episode. In the last two episodes, she's the Slayer, so I think she's able to get over it, but when? How long does it take for her? to get over that. Maybe we are going to find out. So, let's go. It, it was Buffy, right? I didn't really so like that. We saw her and it was really Buffy. I think we screwed it up. She's broken. No, she's not broken. She's just disoriented from being tormented in some hell dimension. <laughs> Probably tortured. And it, it's like, we don't even know how much time has passed there for her. What if she never gets over it? And you think of this now? Okay, now I'm scared. Home. See? You're back home. Guest star Amber Benson is not a guest star. That's insulting. That's much better. There you are. I knew you were under that dirt somewhere. <laughs> you remember what mom used to say? Either wash that neck or plant potatoes. <laughs> yeah, I never thought it was funny either. <laughs> um, we'll take yeah. care of that after. You don't have to touch it. Okay. Willow and Tara. This is their room? Yeah, well, it seemed to make the most sense. No one was using it and it's the biggest. You know, n now that you're here, we'll have to figure out something to do. Dawn, are you there? It's it's just Spike. Oh yeah, I want to see his face. I mean it. I could rip your head off one-handed and drink from your brain stem. Seen the bloody Bob before? Didn't think she'd patch ups. What did you do? Me? Nothing. How long was I gone? 47 days yesterday. Well, I'm in 48 today. Except today doesn't count, does it? You knew she was back? How did you know? Bye. You're not a zombie, are you? Anya! Are you in pain? What do you, remember? What do you know about what happened? Hey! I'm gonna be fine. I, I remember. You brought me back. What was it like? I, I can't. It's okay. You don't talk about this, but. Jet lag from hell has got to be, you know. Jet lag from hell. They're all talking about hell, but Long, uh, still. how are they yeah. so sure? Yes, it's your room. I kind of doubt that. Or maybe she was just nowhere. Maybe just black, just nothing. Hey! You didn't tell me. You brought her back and you didn't tell me. Well, now you know. I worked beside you all summer. Willow knew there was a chance that she'd come back wrong. So wrong that you'd have... that she would have to get rid of what came back, and I wouldn't let her. And tell me, when you saw Buffy alive, that wasn't the happiest moment of your entire existence. But it's... that's not the point for him, I think. He just made it... his point very clear. There's always consequences. Always! Especially with magic like that. I'm kind of scared. You thought she'd say thanks. Would I be a terrible person if I said yes? Give her time. She'll get there. Yeah, she's still in shock. Right. I wouldn't blame her. to be in a big furry hurry. That's kind of odd, but I don't know what it means. Do you know what you did? You're like children. Your hands smell of death. Did you pat its head? <laughs> the blood dried on your hands, didn't it? Okay, so it it wasn't her. My hope. Okay, what in the frilly heck is going on? Maybe we dreamed it. Right, right. Wrong. 
Different brains. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that? There's something in the house. What is it after? Is it... It looked Buffy? one of... Like one of oh, those no. things that got I under Willow's up. skin. These Standard, bumps or up? what it was. I can't sleep. All right, Willow, you need to get out of there. Just get everyone out. <laughs> Wake up, Buffy and Don. Don't make a big deal. <laughs> Go! The hell? Ugh. Anya! Very, I don't know very what it means, bad. but bad. the consequence of their out. spell, definitely. Um, some demon a thing, see someone moving between worlds, and grabs on for the ride. You mean like uh, some hell beastie rode in with Buffy? <laughs> like, we're responsible for this? We were dead, like, um, dead bodies. But, but then they were okay. So I just, you know. It was me. But her hair Maybe is different, right? It's darker. It looks darker. I'll be safe here with the others. Don't worry about me. Um, hot chocolate for Dawn. You're too young for coffee. Idiot. You can have my coffee. <laughs> Look at what you've done! <laughs> fire! Oh no, the books. That was and it. Dawn. L like Buffy with fire. Is she okay? Did I look like that? I hope I didn't look like that. No, I'm sure you look really glamorous cutting up your face. She's going to him, okay? Right. Uh, I do remember what I said. The promise. To protect her. If I'd have done that, even if I didn't make it, you wouldn't have had to jump. But I want you to know I did save you. Not when it counted, of course, but after that. Every night after that. This demon, it's not a demon we let out. It's, it's a demon that we made. We made a demon? Bad us. <laughs> Tomogenesis is when doing a spell actually creates a being. In this case, it was like a, a side effect, I guess. Like a price. It, it doesn't have a body, so it's borrowing ours. It, it borrowed Dawn and Anya. Or, or it's manifesting copies of them, like, like it did when Buffy came at us. It's using them to do stuff. So it, if we sent it away, it, it would be like the spell didn't exist. Like it never happened. Like it never brought Buffy back. Yes. The only way for it to survive on this plane is if it were to kill the subject of the original spell. It would live if it killed Buffy, but that's not gonna happen. Thanks for the tip. You don't belong here. And you do? <laughs> that's not fair. She can't touch it, but it can't touch her? Solid. <laughs> oh, bitch. Now you're screwed. Probably the sort of thing I'm not supposed to see, right? You've been out of school since I got back. And you know what they say. Those of us who fail history, doomed to repeat it in summer school. You okay? I'm going to start charging money for every person that asks me that. Everyone's been doing that, huh? A little bit. It's because they care about you a lot. When you were gone, it was bad when you were gone. Now that they can see you being happy. Yeah, that's what happiness looks like. Buffy, hey. I was in hell. I am. Um, I can't think too much about what it was like. But it, it felt like the world abandoned me there. You guys gave me the world. I can't tell you what it means to me. You're welcome. I would say... Try it again, but this time, Welcome home, like buddy. a little bit of emotion, maybe. It's okay. I can be alone with you here. Thanks ever so. Why would he be there? He like right. trapped himself. If you're in pain, or if you need anything, or if I can do anything for you. Wherever I was. I was happy, at peace, 
I, I don't understand theology or dimensions, any of it really, but I think I was in heaven and now I'm not. I was torn out of there, pulled out by my friends. This is hell. They can never know. Never. Yeah, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 6, Episode 3, I'm not surprised at all. She didn't look very happy when she came back. Like, everyone was talking about Buffy was in hell and we did that for her to rescue her. Everyone was talking about that and... Uh, yeah, I was like, why? How do you know that she was there? So I was kind of convinced that she wasn't really in hell, wasn't really tortured, and when she confessed that she was in hell in the end... Yeah, I think she would have been way more... I don't know how to say it... Just different from the real Buffy. If she really went to hell and has been tortured for God knows how long, I think she had to force herself to say that to her friends, like this whole gratitude thing. Thank you for bringing me back. I think that wasn't easy for her to say, because that's not what they did. They made her life even more miserable, in a way. Like Buffy being the most tragic hero of all time. The absolute worst life ever. Yeah, and then she finally found her peace, was happy, and then they dragged her back to hell, in a way. Yeah, and uh, they mentioned something like that in Angel at some point, that like our world is, is like hell. I don't know if I got this right in that episode, but Buffy is comparing this world to hell. And regarding what life she's living, or she had been living, I get that. She's thinking like that, that she thinks that. And I thought, <laughs> now that I think about it, when she was at the cemetery um, and she um, was standing in front of this angel statue, which made her look like she was having wings, I thought, wow, I think that's my thumbnail for this episode because I kind of, I really like that shot. And now it makes sense. <sighs> I think I, I wouldn't have catched that if I didn't think that, yeah, I, I'm going to use that as my thumbnail. But, well, that, that was good. I mean, in every other show I would have been like, yeah, this is just a coincidence, but um, it's Buffy and sometimes... Yeah, Spike's reaction was priceless when he saw her again. And I get why he was pissed. And I really... I'm not very sure if I believe him when he says that he would have stopped them from uh, from bringing her back. Because he knew that there would be consequences. I, I'm not sure if he would have, but I kind of... Mm, I ca yeah, I kind of think he was telling the truth that he would have, I think. Okay, she was gone for, I think it was one, 147 days. Yeah, everything else wouldn't make sense because they said it was the entire summer. So 147 days is accurate, I think. Yeah, Xander... He was... When he was talking to Tara, he was like, do you think Willow knew that there would be consequences? <laughs> I actually don't think that she even thought about that. I mentioned that in... Was it my, se was it my season 5 wrap-up? I'm, I'm <laughs> absolutely not sure. But I think I mentioned that at some point, that Willow, with her magic, sometimes she just uses her magic without thinking about the consequences without without thinking about it when she was ready to curse us i think she would have regretted it af afterwards so i don't really think that she even thought about that she was like okay we are bringing buffy back and that was it i think that makes her mm -hmm. 
maybe it's not the case, but if it's the case, then it makes her kind of dangerous. Like, she's in incredibly powerful now, and a very powerful witch should use her magic with responsibility. And I... I mean, the price they had to pay, this demon thing... Okay, the fact that it was able to possess them, that's kind of dangerous, but it could have been worse. They faced other things way more dangerous than this one, this thing. So I think it's, that was a little, uh, a little price. If that was it. Made sense that um, in the first episode, the first two episodes were, uh, were about bringing Buffy back to life. And this episode was about the consequences of bringing her back to life. So I think that's, that was it. So I, I would have been like, yeah, I'm kind of cool with this price. And I was very glad at the end to see Buffy in the end because she acted almost normal. Definitely different um, from the beginning of the episode when she was... Yeah, just different. So I hope we... Yeah, I mean, she said that she has to move on now while knowing what she's lost. Yeah, I think, I guess that means she's just acting normal, but is completely destroyed from the, in, in the, like, inside. But at least she's acting normal, that is enough for me, because I don't want desperate Buffy. I mean, I, I think she kind of is desperate, but desperate, more depressed, maybe. And she was like, she knew that every one of the people she loved were safe or were good. I don't think that was the case. I mean, they endangered them all the time by patrolling, by killing vampires. Even though they didn't really have to, but they're mo so responsible that they thought, okay, we don't have a Slayer now, so we have to. But also, I don't understand, because when Buffy was alive, they barely went along with her. Like, Buffy was almost, was alone, patrolling all the time. And they had the Buffy bot. So why were they fighting against vampires too? I don't really understand that. But besides that, the um, motorcycle gang demons... They would have destroyed Sunnydale. Or maybe not destroyed, but they... They wanted to live there, and they would have. They would have killed them. They destroyed the Buffy bot. No Slayer was there anymore. The only sna uh, Slayer they have left is um, in prison. I don't think they would have been safe. And in the last episode, I mentioned the council. Like I'm um, recording this episode before um, uploading it. So I uh, haven't seen the comments on um, episode one and two of you guys yet. Um, so maybe one of one of you is uh, mentioning that. I don't know. But I think um, the, I was asking, does the council know that Buffy is dead? But I don't think it makes a big difference because even if they knew, they can't do anything about it because they can't send another slayer because Faith is still the active slayer. So there was nothing for them to do, even th if they knew. Because I would think they knew. Or maybe not, I don't know. But I don't think that's important. And the scenes with um, between Spike and Buffy in this episode were cute. I like that she was relying on him, that she told him the truth. Maybe they went through the same thing, like digging th themselves out of their graves. And he doesn't really treat her differently than before, I think. Her friends are... I don't know. Walking on, on eggshells a little bit when they're around her. When they are talking to her or they were questioning her. I think that was just too much for her. And Spike, um, he, does, he doesn't do that. So maybe that's why. I don't know. Because she said that when when she was patrolling, she went to him. And that was nice. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next episode. And until then, goodbye guys.